welcome back to my channel so today we will be working on the bmw m3 i know that this car is not featured that much on my channel but i am trying to change that and today's video is going to be rather simple and easy so this car is due for maintenance last time it had an oil change it was probably back in florida and that was like almost like two years ago the car back then had like around 60,000 miles and since then it's been tracked like around three times the car currently has 68,000 miles now so it's definitely due for an oil change and a brake flush so that's exactly what we'll be doing today so as you can see it is later on during the day i actually took it upon myself to walk the dogs earlier before making this video and i did move the cars out of the garage but i actually did record the cold starts because i know you guys love them so here you go further let's get the BMW raised and let's get started So now that the car is raised, we can go ahead and get started with the oil change. So I mean, pretty simple. This car has two drain plugs. One is here and the second one is here. I will be using my oil drain lift. Now, as far as the oil filter, this car doesn't have it here. So it's on top. So it's going to be even easier. And a lot of you guys do ask me what's done to this car, which is not much, but let me show you. So it does have test pipes. These are by IPE and these remove the primary and secondary caps. And then that connects to this X pipe, which is also by IPE. Both of these are titanium and then and this connects to the boiler exhaust so I mean that's pretty much it it also has a simple tune so I thought I'd let you know since you guys do ask me a lot but now let's go ahead and get started with that oil change then we can move on to the brakes So now that we finally drained the oil, it's time to add the new one and it's right here. So the oil of choice is Liquid Molly and this card does take 9 quarts and it also uses 1060. But first, let me show you the very dirty engine bay because you guys have never seen it before. Let me give you some time to admire it, which is... <laughs> Oops, I almost fell. Just kidding. But the next step before adding the oil is actually removing the oil filter, which is right here. Now, once I remove the oil filter, I will be taking some paper towels just to clean inside the reservoir because there will be a little bit of oil left there. So once we get that all cleaned up, we can add the new filter and then finally add the oil. Oil change is now done. Here comes the fun part, which is the brake flush. Now I already removed this cover and here's the brake reservoir. I'm gonna be using this power bleeder. This is the same one that I used on the GC350 when I did my brake flush. So either way, I'll be setting it to around 20 PSI or so. Then after that, we can raise the car and then begin with the brake flush. start with the brake flush and let me tell you that this is going to be a little bit easier than the GT350 simply because you don't have to remove the wheels. I'll also be using this canister right here but first we have to remove this little rubber piece and then I'll be using a 9 millimeter. Then I'll be connecting the holes and then we can pump the power bleeder. Wait until this fills up. Once it does I'll go ahead and empty it out and then move on to the next. And by the way the brake fluid of choice is Motul but I actually won't be starting here. I'll be starting on the right rear simply because it's the furthest away from the brake reservoir so let's go ahead and get started.
Just finished the brake flush, and now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car, check the brakes just to make sure I feel pressure, and after that, I'm just gonna take the car out, let it sit there and idle just to let it get up to temp. Since the oil gauge is digital, I know it takes nine quarts, but I only put eight just because I rather underfill than overfill, just to be safe. Then once I get a proper reading, I'll go ahead and add the rest. So let's go ahead and get a cold start, and then take the car out. So as expected, the bricks were good, and as expected, it did need another quart of oil, so I already took care of that. But I do think that this engine, as you can see, it is pretty dirty. Well, at least to my standards it is, so I think that this will probably be a good candidate for an engine cleaning. All in all, it was pretty uneventful, except for the brake flush. If you guys saw all that liquid coming out, it was so green at first, and it smelled disgusting. So I'm glad that we finally took care of the maintenance on this car, and it has brand new liquids. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Watching, and I'll see you in the next one.